The whole country is now going on strike. I was already ashamed to be British. Now I hang my head. Maybe uh, we are one of the most embarrassing countries in the world right now. And what's even worse is all these strikes are happening over Christmas. Christmas is a huge time for businesses where many businesses do nearly all of their trade over Christmas. And they're going to be decimated. And this was caused years ago. Now, look, I'm going to tell you whose fault I think it is. I'd love to hear your thoughts. But check this out. The rail is on strike. Mail is on strike. Ambulance is on strike. There's a nationwide nurses strike about to happen. Buses on strike, baggage handlers on strike, highway workers on strike, driving examiners on strike, border force on strike. What's left not to be on strike? The whole fucking country is on strike in December. Oh, and it's minus five. Now, look. The central banks will take no responsibility. The Bank of England will take no responsibility. The government clearly aren't taking any responsibility. But right now we have really high inflation and really high cost of living. And inflation should have been controlled years ago by the Bank of England. If the Bank of England a few years ago had just started to eke up interest rates gently, gently, gently... By now, inflation wouldn't have been so crazy. If the government had actually not been taking backhanders and mishandling our country, they wouldn't have locked us down, certainly the second, and then that, that soft lockdown over Christmas, which ruined businesses. And I said, only a few weeks into the first lockdown, this could have a 10-year implication uh, This could lead us into one of the biggest depressions we have seen. And right now, over Christmas, the rail and mail will be on strike. Two of the most important services over the Christmas period, rail and mail, and they're going to be on strike. Now, look, some people are blaming the the government. Some people are, are blaming the staff. Some people are blaming the unions. But the point is... This was all caused way before this. So, yeah, you know, maybe the union bosses who are getting paid a lot of money. And, you know, why can't the why can't the government and the unions just sort it out, at least temporarily? Why is it that the people always have to lose? The employees who are in our services have to lose and the business owners and the employees of the businesses have to always lose. But I I, I can't blame unions. I can't blame staff. I can only blame government and central banks. The Bank of England could have years ago predicted and sorted this inflation issue out. That was pretty obvious because interest rates at nearly zero for 12 years is clearly going to have a massive knock on on soaring inflation. And apparently Boris wasn't even a fan of lockdown. So then one day he just changed his mind and then we're locked down. And lock down again. And lock down again. To me, this is an utter fucking scandal. It's an utter disgrace. It's the government's responsibility. And oh, what's their answer? Cut budgets and increase taxes. Well, you can fuck off. How is cutting budgets on our services going to help when they're all on fucking strike? How is that going to help? It's just going to make it worse. And yeah, let's increase taxes. You know what? You pay between 65 and 70 percent of what you earn and what you spend in tax and you don't even know it. How can we be taxed anymore? There'll be nothing left. How is the economy going to grow if the spending in the economy is less and the taxation in the economy is more? It's basic economics. It's just going to constrict and retract it. It's just going to be a, a fucking tight ball, like the inside of a golf ball. It's going to be like a fucking dried walnut. Our economy is now a dried walnut. 
Yeah, I, I think it's a disgrace. I think our country is an embarrassment. Um, like, I feel like this is my... The UK is fucked part 17 live. So, let me know what you think in the comments. To me, I think that... Um, yeah, maybe major corporations who've um, avoided trillions in tax. I think that's an issue. You know, I don't think that the rich should be taxed more. I think the super rich should be taxed more. So, you know, people might say that if you earn 100 grand a year, you're in the top 1%. Well, when you get your 45%, 50, 55% tax taken out off that, you're actually not rich. So people just... I don't understand the difference between rich and super rich. So the rich and the new rich should actually be ta taxed less, as should the people in the working class. We should be taxed less so we can work more and better, be more efficient. The small businesses, the six million small businesses should be protected and incentivized and encouraged and subsidized and supported so that they can grow because these six million small businesses, they fuel the economy. And they're the ones that are getting raked and ruined when you've got rail strikes, mail strikes, ambulance strikes, nationwide nurse strikes, buses strikes, baggage handler strikes, highway worker strikes, driver, driving examiner strikes, border force strikes. It's the small businesses and the working class and then, you, you know, the, the small rich, which aren't really rich, rich, but the society deem them to be rich. They're the ones that are getting fucked. Um, so why don't they tax the massive corporations an extra 5%? That would be trillions into the economy and a major part of the issues would be solved. Why don't they? I can only think because the major monopolistic corporations um, have worked out loopholes or they're too powerful to mess with or they're somehow funding and filling the pockets of our government officials and politicians. So stop raiding the people and stealing all our money and fucking up all of our services and eroding the value of our money. Fucking stop all that. Take an extra 5% off the super rich, which is trillions in the economy, and then percolate that down so that you can do a deal with the services and the unions so that people can get fair pay and so that the small business owners can actually run a business and you can drop the taxes and you can increase the economy and everyone starts to win. This is just fucking economic common sense in my view, but it's not happening. I don't get it. Anyway, I don't want to have a heart attack, but I, I, I would really encourage you to share this um, because I think it's a disgrace. I think it's a scandal and these things could easily have been prevented. And, you know, People were silenced, shut down, ostracised, shadow banned and cancelled when they spoke out about lockdowns. Well, look at the fucking country now. And oh, and by the way, all this shit storm of businesses going bust, national strikes in just about every service. Half a billion, sorry, half a trillion, probably approaching a trillion spent, struck, wasted in lockdowns. And all the people that died because they couldn't get into the NHS. And the apparent now proven data that more people have died. You do your own research on this, but apparently the data is now showing that more people died because of lockdown than were saved by lockdown. So all of this now coming out, which to me was pretty fucking obvious from very early days. Where's the accountability for that? Where's the justice for that? And where's the compensation for that? Well, no, no, well, Boris, bye. I'm just going to get paid £250,000 a speech now. Bye, I'm out. Rishi's in. Rishi fucking locked us all down and now he's been rewarded by being the Prime Minister. He got rewarded by fucking the country by now being the Prime Minister of the country. What a fucking joke our political system is. An absolute joke. Fucking hell. This makes me so angry. So angry. You know, I fucking sweat blood working 16 hours a day 
trying to run my business and my 144 staff through lockdown. You know, I pay millions in taxes. We um, have 360 ten. No, we have 360 properties and 1,250 tenants locally that we dramatically support and increase revenue in our economy. And they tried to charge us business rates when we couldn't run a business. They wouldn't give us empty property relief when our properties were empty because it was illegal to go in them and work. And our reward and our support for these fucking lockdowns is just more taxes and lower services and fucking strikes everywhere. Wake the fuck up. I'll tell you what pisses me off is we can do nothing about it because our political system is so fucking broken and bent. You c there's no accountability anymore. We didn't even get any input going from Boris to Truss to Rishi. We got no input. The people didn't vote. It's a fucking false democracy. It's not even a democracy. It's just a monopolistic scandal. And it's got to fucking change. And you need to speak up as well. Don't, let, don't just let me spit and shout at my... On my phone, my poor phone. Share it. Speak out. Because there's a revolution coming. There is a revolution coming. Anyway, let me know what your thoughts. At the moment, it seems the whole country is on strike. I believe that the central banks made a major mistake in not gently increasing um, interest rates years ago. So they're a big part to do with dramatic soaring in inflation. And then, you know, things like Brexit and lockdowns dramatically impact our lowest standard of life spending power since the Second World War. And now rail strikes, mail strikes, ambulance strikes, nursing strikes nationwide, buses, baggage handlers, highway workers, driver examiners and border, border forces all on strike over fucking Christmas when most of the businesses rely on Christmas to trade for the whole year. And the one time we might get a bit of relaxing and celebration for the fucking hard years we've had. Goodbye. And no one fucking cares and no one's standing up and no one's taking responsibility and there is no fucking accountability. Our country is fucking ruined. You need to speak up. You need to hit the share button. I need to calm down. Thanks for tuning in. And remember, if you don't risk anything, you risk everything.